Hello everyone. In this session, mainly we are going to discuss about the elective paper for second year BSc students that is aquarium fish keeping. So mainly this session it consists of common characteristics and sexual dimorphism of aquarium fishes in that mainly gaurami and zebra fish. So this is the objective of this session. So you'll be having a broad idea of aquarium fish keeping and also the differentiation and the sexual dimorphism of with the characteristics of gaurami and zebra fish. So this is the outcome you will be having in this session after studying this. So these are some of the prerequisites you need to know what do you mean by aquarium and how are fishes and what do you mean by morphology and sexual dimorphism. So let's begin with this session. So first one that is Gaurami. So what are the common characteristics and dimorphism? So before that we need to know its classification. So Gaurami the scientific name is Kulisa. So phylum Chordata, class Pisces, order Teleostea and family it belongs to the Osphornermidae. So the common characteristics and sexual dimorphism of aquarium fishes that is first one Gaurami it is an ornamental fish. This is a freshwater fish and it has elongated rays in the pelvic region. So as you can see in the pelvic region it has got the elongated rays and there, is, there are some dimorphic characteristics whereas in males and female. So in the optimum temperature it needs around 24 to 28 degrees so that they can reproduce and also the they are omnivorous males are attractive and colorful but whereas the females are dim in color and males are larger than female they lay eggs and also they exhibit parental care they are mouth breeders and build bubble nest so usually with the bubbles they are building the nest and they lay eggs so this is the sexual dimorphism so as you can see in this picture the males they are having longer and pointed dorsal fin but whereas in female they are having shorter and rounded dorsal fin and in the shape usually the smaller body shape and slimmer but whereas in female it is having a rounded belly region so these are the characteristics or uh, sexual dimorphic characters which you can differentiate in males and female of gaurami Coming to the second one that is zebra fish, Danio Rerio. It belongs to the phylum Chordata, class Pisces, order Teleostea, family Crepinidae. So the common characteristics are, it is ornamental fish which is belonging to uh, Crepinidae and it is a freshwater fish. It is native of streams of Himalayans. So you know if it is coming from Himalayan they are somewhat related to the cold water and it is commonly inhabits in streams, canals, ponds and also in the paddy field. So it has five horizontal blue strips and on the side the body is slimmer with the zebra fishes. Males are having different shapes and they are having gold stripes between the blue strips so as you can see in this picture so the males they are mostly bright colored strips in between the blue region but whereas in female the stripes are somewhat dim in region and you can see the fin region also fins are much elongated and pointed in the female uh, uh, that is mainly the anal fin but whereas in female it is blunted somewhere so they have got blunted it and the females are having large and whitish belly with a silver stripe instead of gold and it grows 3.8 centimeters uh, in length and it lives for around five years and it lays eggs so as i was telling in the dimorphic characteristic so the male they are having golden stripes whereas females they are having whitish stripes and the fin region is much pointed in males 
females are having blunt edges so this is about how the zebra fish are having sexual dimorphic characters so in this session mainly we have discussed about the two different types of fish that is one is zebra fish and uh, one more is the different fish that is gaurami so that's all about this session and this is my reference for this session so thank you